Another update um, for this build was the rotation point. And this is something that can be very helpful. Um, it is something that, um, you know, that comes in handy at different times. And it typically works best with one object you need to rotate around something. I'm hoping that in the future it can work with multiple selected objects. That would be really, really handy. But how it works is I have this design here and you can see that this, um, it's all grouped together. I'm gonna ungroup it. If I select this, you can see it's text here um, in the properties box. This was like a March 2021 free um, design. How it works is you need to place your cursor close to the X that signifies the center of the design. So right now if I rotate it, it's going to rotate around that center point here. So let me hit undo to get back to normal. If I hold down my Alt key and get it close, you can see that there's a little X that looks like an X that shows up next to it. I can drag it to anywhere that I want. So let's say that I want to find the middle of this. And this is kind of how I would utilize it. It's right here. I might grab a couple guidelines. And it would work better for an object that is a circle, but I'm gonna just show you a little bit on this one. So now that I have this here, if I select it and I hold down Alt, I'm a keyboard, so I get that little X. Now I'm gonna left click and drag that X right into this point right here. This is gonna be the new rotation point. So once I release that, if I grab this and I left click, you can see that it will go around the new location there. Like I said, this would be a little bit better if it was a circle. So let me go ahead and zoom out here and let's just take this part of the design and I'm not, I'm just going to skew this. So it's going to look a little funny, but I will make the width and the height the same and hit apply. And this might take it a little bit because, um, you know, it was just a little bit, uh, large and there's a lot of pieces to kind of skew there, but you can see that now I've created that as a perfect circle. So I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to select that again, and I'm going to grab this guideline and move it down. Try to get it into position there, and I'll drag um, the guideline over a little bit, or I'll just take the design itself now and I'll just drag it. That'll be easier. And I can go up a little bit. Let's go down. I got it pretty much right on the center. So now I can select this text. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. I'll grab the alt and I'll drag that into position here. And now I'll go around the shape. You see if it's a perfect circle, it works great. So it's just something that makes it easier for you to work with um, rotating something around another item and so this is a, a nice feature like I said I hope that in the future it gets enhanced where you can select multiple pieces at the same time and then um, choose a rotation point but this is a good start and it's very welcome for this update of the software Hey everybody, it's DJ Anderson. I hope that you've enjoyed the video you just watched. If you own the FTCU software and you're struggling to learn it or you wanna learn it better, I hope that you'll check out the FTCU Masterclass. It is an incredible series that I've put together where I get to help you learn and master your Floriani software. It has a bunch of information in it. There are over 95 lessons where you open up a design and there's instructions on how to work through a lesson. And I actually show you each lesson, how to do everything inside of the lesson so you can't get stuck. You can rewind, fast forward as much as you want to get all the way through the lesson. Um, I also included an interactive software manual and I'm really excited about this. This manual is unlike any other software manual you own. 
it has over 150 videos that are embedded inside of the manual. You'll view it online on the website. You'll learn all about the tools and features of the software and be able to watch a video uh, uh, you know, highlighting that tool in action. So it's an incredible experience and it has an awesome search feature to it. So if you want to learn about applique, you can just type in applique and it will take you um, to a list of things that you can view, uh, whether it be a lesson or other videos, all about that tool. There are over 85 FTCU how-to videos. This is separate from you know the interactive manual. This is uh, its own little series of highlighting each feature of the software, doing a video talking a little bit about what it's used for um, and how to get the most out of the tools. And like I said, there's over 85 of those how-to videos and that's over 18 hours worth of FTCU how-to videos. And then I created um, something I'm really excited about, and that's the Digitizing with DJ series. This is where I walk you through digitizing and design from scratch. So I take you from bringing the image up in the software and then creating a blueprint of everything that we're going to do in the design before we actually digitize. And I say we because you're going to be able to open up that exact same design and follow along with me as I help you learn how to digitize designs in the software and and give you a lot of insight about planning and why we decide to do things that we do in a design. So I really get to help you learn how to digitize um, using the software and you'll be able to follow along and do everything that I'm doing and so it's an incredible series that I add two of those a month into the FTCU masterclass and it's a lot of fun for me and I get a lot of really good feedback that people love that and then um, I included a light version of my digitizing masterclass and the digitizing masterclass is a little bit different because it focuses on digitizing theory. So if you really want to learn how to digitize, it's going to give you all the theory that you need to know and understand on how to create design successfully. Also, it includes a bunch of lessons that you get to stitch out and you get to see um, these theories in action so that you can see how they work and why they work and why you want to do something a specific way. So it's an incredible series that you get and there's over 18 hours of video lessons just inside of the Digitizing Masterclass Lite. And then we have the FTCU add-on software training. And so a lot of people own multiple Floriani software programs and when Fusion was introduced a few years back, it offered the ability for you to take like Total Quilter or Lettering Master or Sketch a Stitch and you were able to bring those tools inside of the FTCU software. And so what the FTCU add-on software training is, is it's videos that um, focus specifically on one of those add-on programs and how to use it inside of the FTCU. So there's a lot of training. It's a very exciting program. People are loving this FTCU masterclass. I hope that if you're interested in learning more about the software that you'll click the link in the description and check it out. And if you purchase, I'll see you inside. This is DJ Anderson and thank you for taking the time to watch this video.